two. OK, how long did it last? Uh, <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> OK. Favourite band? Genesis were. Now? Please don't still say Genesis. Amy Winehouse. Really? <laughs> right, have you been to any gigs recently? I'd like to. I've not just... Uh, I've not had the opportunity. The last gig I went to was The Who. Oh, right, OK. At the Casey. OK. Oh, OK. <laughs> Free charge. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, OK, talking about football then, who did you support as a boy? Sunderland. Oh, OK. Did you get there a lot? Yes, every week. OK. Um, as a player, what was the best goal you scored? Um, I scored one on, on, on TV, actually, um, against Lincoln in the third round of the FA Cup for Bolton Wanderers. Everyone claimed it was a cross. It was a driven shot into the top corner. Did Bolton just score one? Yeah, I was just going to say. OK, earliest football memory? It was, funny enough, in the Gallagher end at Newcastle. Uh, my dad took me as an eight-year-old boy to see uh, the FA's Cup uh, against up jest or weep jest Dorsa. Um, and it's the first time I'd seen any foreign teams and went in the Gallagher end and it was unfortunate that day because I was on my dad's shoulders and a bottle of Newcastle brown ale hit me on the head. Oh. But people say if, if your name's on the bottle, it's going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that one. <laughs> um, where was I? Um, yeah, hi highlight of playing career. Uh, Going up the Wembley steps was one of the main highlights, but uh, getting promoted with Bolton Wanderers as a player. Okay. Uh, but I went up the Wembley steps to lift the Sherpa Van Trophy in '89. The what trophy? The Sherpa Van, it was. It was that, is that what That's became now sort the of. Johnson's paint. Right, okay. it's, it's been about five or six different things. ZDS, wasn't it, at one ZDS. point? ZDS. Yeah. Win somebody, auto windscreens. Are we looking okay. for sponsors here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry. We've got them. <laughs> Best player um, you've ever played with? Um. John McGinley. OK. All right. And one football change, one rule change in football, if you could have one tomorrow? I think I'll go along with the Stoke fan. If you win the second half, you should get some points. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad one. That could catch on. Like that. Andy this season, that. OK. OK. Let, let me take you back quite a way, if you don't mind me saying, back to your very beginning as a player. Yeah. Um, in the Sunday League. Talk oh. us through those days and who Red Duster, am I right in saying the Red that was Duster, the aye, The Red Duster was the local football team and I, uh, I, was, um, I was an apprentice electrician and uh, Hartlepool United wanted to sign me as a pro and uh, I turned that down and so I got me indenture forms for being an electrician which was 20 year old. So I was playing non-league football and I was playing Sunday league football and the club was the Red Duster. Of which you remember Bobby Davison? Yeah. Bobby Davison used to play mm -hmm. a for us as well. So we had a few players that came through actually and played league football. So did you ever think that you'd ever get to where you are today? Um, you always hope, don't you? I, think I failed trials at Sunderland when I was 16. Um, and then obviously at 18, you think y you've missed the chance. And at 20, I was being spotted as a Sunday league player by a, a director of Hartlepool United. And um, I signed a five year contract when I was 20. OK, very, very final question. Phil, you obviously you're brown by name and brown by nature, is it real? The town? <laughs> <laughs> it is, yes. Oh, I've I don't never, believe that for a second, I've, James. I can categorically state I've never used the sunbed in my yeah, life. Yeah, you're a liar. <laughs> James. It's as real as mine is. I can tell you that. <laughs> now, if you were watching us at Andrew on Saturday, you'll have seen.